Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be talking about vertebrate characteristics. So vertebrate is a word derived from the word vertebrae, which means backbone, and that basically gives you a general idea of what a vertebrate is. It's a animal with a backbone. Um, and vertebrates have four main characteristics that distinguish them from any other type of animal. The first one is pretty obvious. They have a notochord, and that basically means a backbone. This is technically a flexible rod uh, inside the body for structural support in a human that takes the form of gelatinous discs between the vertebrae that help support our backbone and allow us to stand up straight and be able to support that um, structure and that posture. The second vertebrate characteristic would be a nerve cord. So in humans, this is the brain and spinal cord. Um, and usually this nerve cord is found within the fetus. It starts developing then. And then some main characteristics about it is it's dorsal and hollow. Dorsal just means um, on your back and hollow just means that it's not filled with anything. So that nerve cord um, in a human becomes a brain and a spinal cord. So it allows you to uh, sense things throughout your body and have a complete uh, connection between your whole nervous system. The third vertebrate characteristic is also a little less intuitive. They're pharyngeal slips. And pharyngeal basically refers to the pharynx which is by your neck, and what this does is it allows water to enter the mouth and exit without going through the full digestive tract. So this can take the form of ears for humans or gills um, for fish. Uh, so those are known as pharyngeal slits. And then the fourth and last vertebrate characteristic that distinguishes vertebrates from invertebrates is a muscular post-anal tail. And you may be thinking humans don't have a tail, but we actually do have a um, tail that's basically repressed. So we still have the tailbone, but we just don't have an actual tail. But within uh, fetal development, you still develop that bone that supports uh, humans having a tail, but when you look at a lot of other animals, they do have tails and you're able to see that. Just in humans, that's reduced during fetal and embryo development. So we don't actually visually or physically see that tail, but we do have the tailbone to support it. And those are essentially the four vertebral, vertebrate characteristics that distinguish vertebrates from invertebrates.